Okay, let's talk about online courses. So if you've been looking to create an online course but don't really know how or where to get started, in this video I'm going to show you how to create an online course inside the Kajabi platform. So if this is something you're interested in, keep watching. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to subscribe to my channel for more such videos on marketing tools, digital products and entrepreneurship and also hit that bell notification. So let's get into it. In this video, we're going to be creating a product or a course inside of Kajabi. So I'm going to go inside products and click on new product and when you click on new product again Kajabi will give you different templates that you can use so right now the product that I'm showing you is the Kajabi uh, mini course it's a free Kajabi mini course so I'm just going to use the mini course template here you can use an online course template you can use a membership template if that's what you're using coaching program and again you are not really tied to that template you can customize that customize whatever template you use but again since i know that i'm creating a mini course i'm going to go ahead and use the mini course template and i'm just going to name this um, free kajabi mini course and save it And then this is how the template is going to look like uh, course content. So this part here, the course contents part is your, uh, you know, module. So if you have multiple modules, you'll have module one, module two and so on. So this is that module one. And within each module, you'll have different lessons which are known as posts in Kajabi. So you have module one here, since it's a mini course, they've given you only one module and then you have multiple lessons within that module. If you want to uh, add more modules, so under product, if you click here, create category, categories, the module basically it's called a category in Kajabi and within the category there are different posts which are basically lessons so if I want one more category I can click here create category I just want one but if I want more lessons in this uh, in this category which is a module I could just hit click here and add posts you could also add subcategories and make it a little more complex but i'll just show you the basic version where you can add a post this is where you can add an image uh not here this is where you will be able to see the image when you add it uh, so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on edit details and you can uh, update the description this is a free mini course to help you learn how to use the Kajabi platform to build your online business. And then here you could add a product thumbnail. Again, they've given you dimensions. So what I would do is I would go to Canva. I would create a thumbnail with this dimension using my brand colors and choose that here. And when you click on pick a file, it'll give you different, you can choose a file from different, like different platforms. So what I would highly suggest is store your, uh, store your image on google drive or dropbox because it's much more easier and faster to upload an image or a video from google drive or dropbox rather than your computer if you're uploading an image from your computer it takes a long time so i'm just going to hit save and then we are going to go back and then you can customize this. So you can either customize it first and then upload your videos and uh, you know upload your lessons or you could do it either way. So right now it says it's using the premier product theme. The theme I like is uh, the new theme that they have, a new-ish, it's called Momentum. So I'm just gonna choose this. 
you can you know look at so this is how it's going to look. You can choose the theme based on how you like it. I just like this one. So I'm just going to use this. You can also preview the themes before you choose them. So here, I will have to go here and click on activate in order to activate the momentum theme. So I have activated the theme. Now it says it's live. Now I will go back and I can make, again, customize and customize here. And here is where you can customize different things. So this is how it's going to look like. Uh, of course, you can change the color based on your brand colors. You can add images here. So if you want to upsell a different course or if you want people to join your Facebook group or follow you on YouTube, you could add banners here. You could add the description. So if I were to like sell a course on sales pages, for example, I could add a banner here. And when they click on that image, it could it would take them to a, to my sales page link. I could add content here. You could also completely delete this box of uh, this blog if you don't want it. But I think this is a great way to you know uh have, get more eyes on your paid products. I think it's it's an amazing way to get more eyes on your paid products. Uh, you can also change the names of what these things are called. So if you don't want this to be called announcements, you could change it. And you could change the navigation. So this says library here, you could edit that. You could change the favicon again, this thing here, typography color scheme. If you want something else, you could also add your own thing here from your background color as sidebar background you could change that as well uh, i'm just gonna save and see how it looks yeah these are not my brand colors i'm just showing you something and then you want to see how different categories look so categories again are modules so if you click on categories this is how they're going to look like. So all under each category, all the contents will be here. So here they can click and, you know, access different uh, lessons or posts within the category. How would a post look like? So if they were to go into a particular post, this is how it would look like. And if they were to go into one particular category this is how it would look like so categories is going to basically show them the different categories if they go within one particular category this is how they're going to be seeing the different posts and then they could go inside of each post and then that's how it would look like so this is basically where you are customizing the look of your product and i think kajabi does a great job on on customizations like there's so many different things that you can do you can also change the text for what you want to call it mission complete instead of you know lesson completed or whatever uh general settings you want to have search and you want to have different buttons so you can show the dashboard you can show the search bar or you can you know unshow it i'm just going to save this and go back to my products. So, okay, let's go back to our course. Now let's edit each of these, right? So within each lesson, which is a post, you can add a video, you can add an assessment, uh, assessments are great if you're into, you know, gamifying your courses. So if you want people to submit, uh, you know, a written assignment or submit a questions answered, this is a great way to drive that engagement with your students in order to get them 
you know, in order to facilitate a two-way interaction, in order to help them to complete your course and you know have success with the course so again you can change the title you can choose a category if you have multiple categories you can have the text you can have video assessment you can have a poster image so the poster images don't really show up in the momentum theme but they do show up in other themes so you could use that you could add downloads here so if you have a workbook that goes along with that this lesson you could add this here um, again add a video if you're adding a video make sure you're using google drive or dropbox to upload it um, you can make comments visible hidden or locked um, visible is good because people might want to you know reach out and ask questions but again if it's too much you can have them logged and then you can add an automation which means that if someone completes this uh, this particular lesson, then you can actually send them an email saying, hey, I saw that you completed this lesson. Do you have any questions? That is also a great way to drive that two-way interaction with your students. Now, it said there's a problem because I didn't really choose the automation, but that that's another great way to uh, add, you know, like I said, engagement. So this is basically how uh, it's going to look like. now. The one thing is now you've created this product, which is called a free Kajabi mini course, but how do you get people to sign up for this, right? So you, for that, you need an offer. Now this is a free product. So my price is gonna be zero, but if it's a paid something, you'll have to add the price here, right? I'm just gonna say zero for now. And then you have to click on create offer. So now when you go to offers, you'll see that you have this offer, right? And you can go in here inside the offer and again, edit price and everything. But what we want to do actually is create the checkout page. So you can go to edit checkout. And this is where you will, you know, get their email address and you will want to change this. So since it's a free course, I don't really need to sell them too much on this. But again, you know, this this will be a place where if it's a paid course, you're gonna add more details about what this course is about and they've given you some prompts here. So you could use that, you could add your logo here. You can remove the banner if you don't want this banner. And if I hit save, it's gonna do away with the banner. And here um you can add an order bump so to add an order bump you'll have to first create an offer and then you could add an order bump here offer details which is again our thing here you could change the primary color you could you could collect their name and password so basically, when you're offering a course or product inside of Kajabi, people need to create their password, right? So instead of sending them an email where it's like, this is your gen, you know, platform generated password, you could actually get them to create their password right here. And then if you want phone numbers, you could do that. You could also add a custom field where you will actually create the custom field first and then add it or you'll have to create a custom field first but again you know if there's something if you want someone's birthday like if you're running a membership and you would want to reach out to you know the member when it's their birthday you probably want to send them something you could add that as a custom field so i'm just going to hit save and here this is where you will get the link so this is your checkout page link so if i copy and paste it here it's going to take me to this checkout page this is exactly the link that you're going to use when you are using this checkout page with a sales page so let's say this is my checkout page for this particular offer which is connected to uh, my 
free Kajabi mini course product. So again, the product is the back end. That's how people are going to access your course. The offer is where you will collect the payment and the checkout page is connected to the offer, right? So you need the checkout page to collect the payment and for your a uh, student whoever signs up for them to be able to access they need to create a password which is again connected to the checkout now if you want to use a sales page with this checkout page you will actually create a sales page on the website so let's do that go to pages and new page here And then you can choose what kind of page you want to create, right? So there are different um, kinds of templates. You can choose what works best for you. Of course, you are fully able to customize them as well. I'm just going to choose uh, Streamline Sales. I just want to show you how you would connect the checkout page. And then you create here, this is your sales page. And you can edit all of these, change the color, add blocks, add sections here. Let's say this is your call to action and it says something like buy now. We want this to go to a checkout page. So here it'll show me this checkout page, which is connected to an offer and the offer is connected to a product. So now this sales page, this is the link I will share. And when they click on buy now, it will take them to this checkout page where they can sign up for free. They can create their password and they will get an email generated from Kajabi where they can, you know, log in. So this is how you will connect the different parts or different pages and products in Kajabi. So for your course backend, which is uh, something that your students access, you'll have to create the product in order to sell that product. Even if it's for free, you'll have to create an offer. The offer is connected to a checkout page and then you can connect that checkout page to a sales page. So this is how Kajabi works in terms of uh, connecting different parts to each other. I hope this helps. Uh, if you'd like to test out Kajabi, I'm sharing a link to a free 28 day trial so that you can test out the platform. I also have a free mini course in Kajabi that you can check out in the links below. That's it for this video. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.